Hi, I'm local correspondent Raymond Braun here at the 29th annual GLAAD Media Awards. This is such an exciting night because we're celebrating representation for the LGBTQ community in media and entertainment. Let me tell you, we have so many amazing guests who are about to walk this red carpet, and we're going to talk to as many as we can, so please join us and let's celebrate our community. Tonight we are celebrating LGBTQ representation in media and entertainment. It's 2018. How do you think we're doing? I think we're doing um, well. You know, I think that anytime there is some representation that we have to celebrate it and not knock it down. I think that there's room for more people. I think that there's room for more stories. There's always more room, but I want to celebrate the strides we have made. And I think that's what is amazing about tonight because we are. I think we are on a roll at the moment. I think we need to just continue this, continue conversation, visibility. Yeah, I think there's a lot of positive energy within the community. And the more we have that, the more we let that blossom out the more that's infectious for people to grab onto and it makes people more passionate about the issues that are real. Trying to preserve what we love about this country which is that spirit of inclusivity and you can be whatever you want that is what we believe in and the fact that that's under attack I think sometimes like solidifies and really consolidates what we care about and freedom and equality is what we care about and so I think a lot of people in the country have really like Reevaluated their understanding that it's necessary to speak out to protect those rights. I'm going to say something real controversial. Say it. There's something good that's come out of all this, which is that now we're having conversations that we've never had before. Uh, we're having discussions that were previously about things that were left unsaid, but people were still thinking and acting on. And I look forward to the future that these kids are going to create. And I'm going to participate in it. It's not all on Absolutely. them. It's not all on them. But yeah, I'm really just kind of inspired by our LGBTQ youth right now. How do you think we're doing in 2018? Uh, I'm always reminded of a quote by Carrie James Marshall. It said, I think a lot of energy went into getting us to the point where we are now, but we must put in the same amount of energy to get us to a place where we ought to be. So we're Mike doing chop. All, we're, do <laughs> we're doing all right, but there's more work to be done. This is my 20 fourth or 25th GLAAD Awards, and there have only been, what, 29? 29. 29. Um, You're doing well. You do the math. And Wilson, you've always used your platform to speak up for equality and for our community. Why do you think it's important for celebrities to do the same? If we have this honor of being in the public eye, I think it's helpful and useful and necessary for us to use our platforms for good and to at least put out the word about great causes like GLAAD. You gotta use your voice for good instead of evil. You have to speak up for what you believe in and you have to take care of the people who take care of you. And the entire reason I have a career is because of the LGBTQ plus GLAAD community. It's the first show I ever played in New York was a room full of gay men. And it's basically been the same way ever since. And I've been in that room a couple yeah, times. Yes. I think that it's so important for everyone to try and just practice what you preach and just try and be a nice, good person, be inclusive, be accepting, be loving. Especially when you have a platform, it's more important than ever because there's a lot of people seeing that, and I think that you have to have a positive impact, and you have to try and be a good influence. Visibility is the biggest power we have. When you can reflect to somebody the possibility of what they can do with their lives, I think there's nothing more important than that. You know, because there's somebody that you don't even know that's watching you that's saying, oh my gosh, this person has had a hard moment, but they've also had many triumphs, and if they can make it through, then I can make it through. At one point or another in our life, we feel like we don't have a voice. And I know that the Olympics can be a huge platform, and I felt that if I was ever given that opportunity, that I, I would use it, especially if I were ever asked anything um, about what my personal beliefs were on any sort of subject. I would s stick up for people who I felt were like me when I was younger. To be here tonight with GLAAD, it almost feels like full circle that like I used to be that young, really shy kid, and now I'm wearing pink on a red carpet. And you look so good doing it. I don't know about you, but I am feeling so inspired after all these conversations. So many incredible people just came down the carpet and the show's about to start. So I'm gonna head inside, but in the meantime, be sure to watch the GLAAD Media Awards Wednesday, April 18th at 8 p.m. only on Logo.